Frankenstein, also known as Frankenstein The Monster Returns, released on the Nintendo Entertainment System by Bandai in 1990. And yep, this is one of those games that refers to the creature as Frankenstein, and not just the creature, as was originally intended in Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Frankenstein was the doctor, not the monster. Frankenstein has been resurrected and attacks a nearby town, kidnapping a young girl named Emily. And as the hero, it is your destiny to rescue her from the clutches of the evil creature. Frankenstein is a side-scrolling action-adventure game spanning across four levels, which you can return to at a later time with a password system. Very similar to games like Castlevania, your goal is to just move to the right and kill everything in sight, usually fighting a boss at the end of each stage. Throughout your journey, you'll find better weapons and magic attacks, as well as items that will increase your health or give you the ability to heal during battle. Be careful when using these healing potions, though, because you only get two per playthrough. That's right, if you die, they don't come back, until after you've used up all your continues, which you only get two of. As mentioned before, Frankenstein has only four levels, the first level being the village, the second level being the forest, the third level starting off in a graveyard, then ending inside of a castle, and then the fourth level being... Uh... Look, I, I, I don't even know what the hell this is. Each stage has about three or four bosses each. In stage one, you fight a dragon in the sewer, then you fight the Grim Reaper. Huh, we're, we're kind of running into a trend here, aren't we? Anyways, and then the last boss is some kind of demon horse thing. In stage two, you fight what they call the evil He-Monster and She-Monster of the forest. Great names, by the way. If you fall into the swamp, you have to fight a merman, which is painful as all hell. And then the final boss is Medusa. Stage 3, you fight this floating head and hand that they call the Gatekeeper. And then once you defeat that, you go further into the castle and you fight Dark Warrior. Ooh, he's a warrior. That's dark. Stage 4, you actually fight a lot of the classic horror movie monsters. First, you fight the Wolfman, here called Man-Wolf. Then you fight Dracula, which they just label as Vampire. Then you fight Dark Warrior again. And then Frankenstein, which has two forms. A normal form, which jumps around. And then his final form, which is this giant, muscular son of a bitch. Frankenstein may look simple, but it is really hard. The hit detection is way off, and you're always constantly dropping your weapons and losing your magic attacks every time you get hit. A lot of times, I was just reduced to using the jump kick, which is actually a very reliable attack, and does decent amounts of damage. That and the fact that you only get two continues and then you're back to the title screen, and you're so limited on your potion use, this is definitely one of the hardest games I've ever played on the NES. The final level is extremely painful, and there's only one section here that offers you healing items, the section after you defeat the Wolfman. Then after you defeat the vampire, you have to go through this section right here where you have to swing across vines that are over some kind of poisonous lake. You fall in the lake and your health drains to nothing. Jumping off these things is a chore to say the least. You have to be spot on. And even when you make it to the end, you still have to fight Dark Warrior and two forms of Frankenstein with no healing items. You gotta know your shit and hold on to those health potions before you reach Frankenstein because you're going to need them. Visually, Frankenstein looks really good. It's definitely one of the more graphically impressive games I've seen on the NES. Backgrounds are very, very detailed. Even the character models look really decent. Some of the character portraits and designs look very anime-inspired, especially during the dialogue scenes. Despite the short length and being hard as shit, Frankenstein is actually a very fun and challenging game, and I recommend picking it up if you ever happen to find a copy. And remember, Frankenstein hates fire. Fire bad! The ending isn't too much. You rescue Emily, you have some sweet words together, and then you leave and watch the credits roll. Well, guys, that's it for Frankenstein or Frankenstein the Monster Returns. I hope you really enjoyed this one, and I will see you tomorrow on Day 5 of the 31 Games of Halloween. Have a good night.